What's up guys, it's Minx, and today we're going to be uh, um, adding in the Configuration Manager to Lethal Company to uh, work uh, with the mod that I've been working on. Um, so you'll know, I mean, if you've been following the series so far, um, I can actually get rid of this, this is irrelevant. Um, you know that we've done a lot of stuff that ends up in a file that can be customized. Um, you can edit the file, which is great, but it's not good enough. Um, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, but we got a lot of this stuff, right? And this stuff is, you know, it's good, but um, we can make it better. And the point of me doing it this way was so that um, ultimately we could make it better. Um, I was going to make a GUI, which was uh, flashed last video um, right here. Um, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, uh, not this one. Never mind. This one is not used. Um, it's in a different one. It's in here somewhere if it even is still in here. Um, where I create the object and then uh, it does some stuff. Um, I have it uh, not doing anything anymore, but um, it does end up getting created regardless. Um, anyway, so I uh, sort of figured out how to use uh, Config Manager with uh, Lethal Company, and we're gonna go over that real quick. So I'm in here. We have a uh, um, we have the GitHub, which I'll link, of course, in the description, as always. Um, and it's a mod configuration manager for Bepin X5, which is what we use. So um, we create we get a menu-like thing where we get to customize the settings, as well as if you have any other mod that is built to uh, support it, um, which it's a standard thing for Bepin X, so um, it'll work with it. So essentially, get a free mod menu for mod creators um, that do stuff. So if you have a mod creator that uh, is making one and they don't have settings in here, tell them to do it. So um, let's go to the releases here. And the, it looks like the 18.0.1 is the latest as of today. So we're going to go ahead and download the uh, the cube here, the uh, .zip. OK, we'll open it. It's a .zip, so it should just open. And inside here, um, it's inside a Pepinex folder. We don't need uh, that or the plugins. Um, all it comes with is a DNL, uh, DLL, and .xml. It's similar to a uh, um, similar to the plugin that I'm making. It's simply just a plugin to Pepinex. So once you got it here, go to the uh, plugins, and you can drag and drop it right in. I'll replace them. Doesn't hurt. And let me actually change some of these settings, or change the setting back to default. Um, because I want to see if the issue persists. If it does, great. If not, uh, then we're going to uh, see. So um, my mod may actually toss an error if uh, that's set to the way it is. But um, let's go ahead and now that we've, we've uh, dragged it inside of our... Uh, um, folder here. I'm in the config folder. Inside the plugins folder, we can actually go ahead and launch the game. So it looks like things are loaded properly. We got the config manager and the company game master. So, oops. Every time I do that. All right. So at this point, if it's loaded, you should be able to hit F1 and the menu should come up. Mine doesn't. If yours does, great. You don't need to do anything else. Um, if yours doesn't come up like mine doesn't, we need to close out of the game here. Go back into plugins. Go to the config. Go to the configuration manager for Bepinex. Or not the uh, configuration manager, the Bepinex.cfg. And over here, we need to change the first setting under chain loader. Um, we need to hide it, so we need to set this to true. What essentially happens is it destroys the Bepinex game object from uh, um, existing. And once it does that, the config, uh, the configuration manager won't work. It actually gets destroyed. It doesn't exist. So it loads it because it did load it last time, but then it destroys it. Um, it destroys it right when it hits. Oh, I did it again. There we go. Uh, right when it hits this point, this is when it destroys stuff. So now I'm going to hit online, might as well. Uh, but now if we hit F1, things will work. 
So now that we have Configuration Manager installed and uh, showing, if you're having any other issues, feel free to drop them down in the comment section. Um, I don't know if there are any other potential issues you could be having. Um, I didn't have any other issues with this, but um, we can go ahead and expand it. And this will give us, I like to have it full view. Um, this will give us all the settings that we have so far. It looks like a couple are missing. For example, we have the uh, minimum scrap, but I don't see maximum scrap here. Um, and, uh, and that's just scrap. I don't see the values either. So I'm gonna have to add those. I don't know where they went. Um, we have the command prefix, which I'm going to end up moving over to, the, over to the, uh, uh, command settings. Um, we have make custom buy rate random. We have the, I want to move, I want to change these settings to be in order. Um, cause they're kind of like, that's kind of weird. Um, and then we have our other settings like host settings. Um, I might add a few of the uh, like slash commands to here, um, but these things work in real time. So if we do like a, oh, that's fine. Um, we do a new setting or a new uh, game here. And we go ahead and spawn in. Come in here and um, one of the coolest things I added was the ability to spawn enemies through this. So I added it through there because uh, sometimes if you die, you can't spawn enemies anymore. And then if there's like not enough, it's kind of boring for your teammates um, or you can't mess with them. And the whole point of this is that you can mess with them. Um, so da -da 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 -da. just come up here. Let's see. So we'll spawn dog. So we'll just say dog. And the way it works is if you, uh, you type in the name of the enemy, sort of like the command, you just click, 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 click. It spawns a bunch of them. They're all over the place now. Um, that was like the best way I could do it because there's, uh, as far as I know, there's no like button here. Um, you can also search for them. So like XP, that's pretty cool. Um, so these all work in real time. Um, if we turn this on, it would start uh, spawning enemies normally. Um, see, there's not everything that's here. Uh, so, uh, but another fun thing. So when an uh, when a teammate was, oh, I was dead. A teammate was alive. Um, I started messing with this. So like the spring hit speed, and I started turning that up. Um, but otherwise. Uh, yeah, that's really the biggest thing I wanted to mess with here, um, was that. Infinite Sprint, Infinite Deadline, Infinite Credits still work. Um, we still have our... Oops. Boop. I like how the sound changes. Um, everything else just works fine. So I think that was just the biggest thing I wanted to change. The reason I wanted to add this in especially was because it's like, why do I want to go back to, uh, oops, um, restart the game just to change like a setting like this or something. Um, so, um, you got all these settings I'm adding in. If we close out of here, a few more things right now, I am working on a profit quota changer. Um, but it's acting up goofy um so i'm trying to fix that um but i'm going to add all the other settings in, get everything up there um but yeah configuration manager works with the current version updated versions will just be more probably more organized have more features and stuff like that so um just a quick video on that i hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day